Hi everybody, this is John Lords from DiscoverSkills.com, back with another video in the series that I'm calling My Favorite Apps. And today we're going to talk about a fairly simple photo editing app called Aviary. Photo editing has become a really popular thing to do in our iPhones and our iPads because, of course, they are pretty decent cameras. They do let you take pictures, and it's pretty great when you can take a picture and without even transferring it off of your device, go ahead and make changes to it. Now, personally, I still do most of my photo editing back on my PC, but in a pinch, it's nice to have a little photo editor that's on your device. The one I chose today is called Aviary. Aviary is a simple editor. It's not a full-featured, full-blown editor, uh, such a, like uh, like another one that I use called Photo Genie, which is a little bit more sophisticated, and I'll probably talk about in a future episode. But Aviary is a simple editor that lets you make quick fixes to things, and I found that it's uh, pretty easy to use. So let's take a look at it here. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it. The first thing you'll notice is it immediately takes you into your camera roll, uh, which you can swipe back and forth to go between. Okay, And I'm already on a picture that I want to go here with, and that's a picture of our little dog Rex in the middle there. Once you've found the picture, then you can simply go ahead and tap on it. Now, I just want to mention, at the bottom of the screen, you can take pictures directly inside of this app and then edit those pictures. You can also go over to the other albums uh, like your camera roll or any other albums that you have on your device you can go out to by tapping here. But it automatically lets you see your your camera roll and I'm just going to go ahead and go with this picture right here. So we're going to go ahead and tap on it and that's going to take us into the editor. Okay, Across the bottom you see buttons that will take you to all the different features that are available in this editor and probably the ones you're going to want to focus on will be the ones that have to do with fixing the exposure, cropping, uh, fixing the color and those kinds of things. So that's kind of what we'll look at very quickly here today. I'm going to come over here first of all to this button called Enhance and tap on it. Enhance gives us one click fixing of our picture. So for example, I can just tap on auto and if you watch the picture, there you go, it changes a little bit and you can see it change. Okay, I'm going to tap on night instead. That's what we get with night. Let's try backlit. Yeah, I like backlit. I can see the other side of his face now. And then balance allows you to adjust the color balance. And when I tap balance, watch the blue of the blanket. Ooh, you see that blue change? Also made it dark again. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go back to backlit. I think I like that one the best. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use that one. And, you know, again, these instant fix tools, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, it's worth coming in and trying it, though. Once you've made a particular change in a section, then you go up to the corner and you, you tap on Apply to make it stick. All right, let's continue across. Of course, you can change the orientation, which simply means that if I tap, I can change the rotation. So if I tap on the first button, I can rotate it. Tap on the second one, I rotate that way. These two buttons here invert it, so I can invert it top to bottom. Or I can invert it back and forth. Or I can simply tap them and go back to where I was. There we go. Now in any situation where you come in and you're playing around and you don't like your changes, instead of hitting apply, just come over and hit editor. Okay, uh, as we move across here, I can manually adjust brightness and contrast. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap on brightness. And I can slide the brightness to the right to increase the brightness a little bit. Or I can go to the left and decrease it. You can see that happening there. And we'll just leave it about right there maybe. And then I'll hit the apply. Okay, I can go to contrast and do the same thing. There's contrast, and we'll add a little bit of contrast. Or we can remove a little bit of contrast. Either way is fine. Let's go there. That's good. Hit Apply. Okay. And then, of course, I've got a crop tool right here. So I'm going to tap on the crop tool. It brings up a grid. And what I can do is I can tap and drag these corners. So I'm going to go ahead and tap and drag. And then I can go to the middle of it and drag with my finger to position 
So we'll do this here a little bit. Kind of like that, maybe. Okay. And then to finish it off, I tap apply up in the corner again. And there we go, we got him tapped. And then I think I'll go over to sharpness and we'll tap on sharpness. And we'll drag it a little bit more to the right to sharpen it just a tad. Looks like it got it there a little bit. I hit apply. So you can see as I'm going through here, it's basically just a real quick way for you to do some, some quick fixes. Um, you'll notice across here that we could add text to the picture. We can take out red eye. Uh, this is a teeth whitening. Uh, we can actually remove blemishes here. Um, we can even put picture frames around it. Let me do picture frame just for fun. So I'll tap on picture frame. And these are the different ones I have to choose from. Uh, let's make it... Uh, I don't know what punch is. Let's try punch and see what that is. Yeah, it's kind of kind of gives a little embossing there on the edge. Okay, or I could go over and do museum. It's kind of cool. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. And I'll hit apply in the corner. And there we go. Now, when I'm all done, everything is done. Okay, I can come up to the corner, and I hit done. And there we go. I can put, I can put a comment on it. Uh, of course, they love to have me, you know, turn on photo sharing. I could share this. I can print it at Walgreens, uh, so on and so forth. And if I do turn on share, if I say share this photo, I'll do that. I'll turn that on. It'll let me share to whatever accounts I might have set up. And uh, so you could set up Facebook or Twitter or Flickr or Tumblr. So you could share it directly from this program to any one of these right here. Okay, I'm going to click on Finish. Okay. And there we go. There we go. Now, one thing I wanted to mention to you is, is that um, the photo that's created, the photo that's ended up or that you end up with is a copy of your original. So if I were to scroll back through my, my list here again, I would still see this picture as it originally was. In fact, let me pause and I'll go to that picture just to prove it to you. Okay, I've scrolled over and you can see, remember my Christmas picture was kind of there? And then there is the original picture. They're right in the middle there, so we still have the original picture here. But we also now have a finished picture as well. And there's our finished picture. So this is Aviary. It's a cute little editor. It's not real sophisticated, but it does some very quick and fun things to your pictures. And so it's one that I suggest uh, you might want to pick up and give a try to. As always, you can reach me at jlortz at discoverskills.com. Also visit me up on my website. It's www.discoverskills.com. You can also go directly to my YouTube channel by typing in www.youtube.com dot com forward slash discover skills and you can see some how-to videos and different things I put up there of course if you do go look on uh, YouTube be sure to give us a thumbs up we'd love to have those uh, otherwise that's it for today and I will see you in the next video